sometimes when you're using hand saws you can be sawing along and you'll catch the tip of it which is the most common thing that's going to happen and you end up getting a, a bend in your saw plate and you're like oh i've damaged my saw how am i going to fix that so today i'll show you how to fix it on a plate saw and i'll also show you a few techniques how to correct out of square or wobbly saw plates in the back of a, a gent saw or a tenon saw. See back here we've got this big bend in this saw plate, right? And obviously that's going to make it very difficult for us to saw straight with it. So the process I do is viewing down the saw like you see here and I'll come along until I see the bend in my eye and that's where I'll put my fingers. Then from there I will come back and I'll flex it in the opposite direction right on top of it and then we'll view back down it again and I'll keep doing that process until it looks relatively straight so obviously I've still got that flex here and that is the main way that I correct at least small flexes now if it was a larger flex along the whole thing you can actually because these saw plates are spring steel they'll spring back so you can actually flex it like that to allow it to actually try and correct that flex now if you look down this saw now that flex is pretty much completely gone and that would be good enough for this saw to be operational again. If you had any little tiny extra bits you could just work on a few little tiny spots until you got it completely corrected. The technique you use, uh, whether it's a gent saw that's already got its handle on or a plate like this without its handle and if you're storing it obviously you've got its handle off so I like to work with them like this because it's a little easier just to see the whole plate and you don't have the handle in the way. One of the ways is obviously to make sure that the plate is fully seated in the back. And if your back is straight and your plate is wobbly, it usually means that the saw plate is probably not fully seated in the back. I'll just show you how we can correct it and make sure that the plate is fully seated into the back to start with. So the first technique, and you might want to wear earplugs for this, but you grab the saw either by its handle or on the back like this and you... give it some swift wax onto the back and that will actually force the plate down into the back and to make sure that it's fully seated. And obviously with this plate which I've struggled to straighten it is still wavy and that is because we have bends in the back of the saw. Now to correct bends in the back of the saw I like to use my vise. You look down like we did before with the other plate, you look for where it's bent and then I bring it down into my vise, whether it's sticking up like this, and then I use my flat hands across it like this, and I just correct it in the way, that, in the direction opposite to where the bend is. And obviously, I'll keep working my way along the plate doing this until I've got it relatively straight. And in a lot of cases, that actually straightens it up quite a bit. Now if you look at this plate, I know it's difficult and there's still a little bend here, but that is much straighter than it was before. And in some cases you might not fully correct the saw, however you're most likely going to correct it enough if you stick to it and allow you to actually use that saw. I know when it comes to dovetail and tenon saws it can be very difficult to straighten the plates, however if you persist with it, you can straighten the backs, which will in turn, in most cases, straighten the plates. However, there's also a lot of them out there that I've found impossible to fully straighten and makes it very difficult to use them. But sound off in the comments below if you have a better technique for straightening out bends and your saw plates so we can share with everyone and just build a nice database of information to help out beginners and intermediate woodworkers alike. So there you have it folks. I hope that this video helped you in being able to correct bends in your saw plates with saws that you thought were no longer usable and allowing you to cut straight with them again. If you like this video please consider liking and subscribing, check out my Facebook, Instagram and Patreon pages and as always check out these great videos on the screen here to help you on your woodworking journey. Bye for now.